filled with the Spirit. <coughs> On the day of Pentecost, all the Lord's followers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly, there was a noise from heaven like the sound of a mighty wind. It filled the house where they were meeting. Then they saw what looked like fiery tongues moving in all directions, and a tongue came and settled on each person there. The Holy Spirit took control of everyone, and they began speaking whatever languages the Spirit let them speak. Many religious Jews from every country in the world were living in Jerusalem. And when they heard this noise, a crowd gathered that they were surprised because they were hearing everything in their own languages. They were excited and amazed and said, Don't all these who are speaking come from Galilee? Then why do we hear them speaking our very own languages? Some of us are from Parthia, Media and Elam. Others are from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphyla, Egypt, parts of Libya near Cyrene, Rome, Crete and Arabia. Some of us were born Jews and others of us have chosen to be Jews, yet we all hear them using our own languages to tell the wonderful things God has done. Everyone was excited and confused. Some of them even kept asking each other, what does all this mean? Others made fun of the Lord's followers and said, yeah, they are drunk. Peter stood with the eleven apostles and spoke in a loud, clear voice to the crowd. Friends, and everyone living in Jerusalem, listen carefully to what I have to say. You are wrong to think that these people are drunk. After all, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. But this is what God told the prophet Joel to say. When the last days come, I will give my spirit to everyone. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions, and your old men will have dreams. In those days, I will give my spirit to my servants, both men and women, and they will prophesy. I will work miracles in the sky above and wonders on the earth below. There will be blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will turn dark and the moon will be as red as blood before the great and wonderful day of the Lord appears. Then the Lord will save everyone who asks for his help.